Good morning, my lovely students. This is Mrs. Teixeira. Today we're going to start our grammar. So remember that the unit 4 is going to be the unit for your partial test. Yesterday we have already studied our vocabulary and today it's time to start the grammar. The grammar is similar to the grammar that we studied on unit 3. But on unit 3, we, we learn how to say that we arrange someone to do something for us. So, you arrange someone to do something for you. Okay? Today, we are going to study have get something done you paid for someone to do something for you okay it's not around you have already got that thing done that's the idea so check while i am explaining i'm going to write some grammar informations here so it's good if you have a post-it or a notebook you copy to help you later all right so, the first thing, we have or get something done when we want to say that somebody else does something for us. In our unit 3, we were talking about arrange someone. Here, we have this, the thing done. Okay? So, how I'm going to write my sentence on this situation? So, check here. I use, I need have or get plus the object plus the past pers participle, my verb in the third column. For example, I have just got the windows repaired what means that I paid someone to do it I paid someone to do it for me another example she phoned the police and had the criminals arrested so she phoned she organized she arranged this okay that's the idea so you have the thing done for you all right okay let me put it smaller because I think I need... Okay, it's here. Now, we are going to talk about something that uh, we won't allow. Okay, so you won't allow that it happened. So, how you are going to write your sentence? You are going to use won't, okay, plus your object, plus the verb in our third column, or ed, okay? Check. I won't have my home turn, turned into a war zone. So, you won't allow that your home stayed like a war zone. So, won't have, sorry, I forgot to write here, have. Okay. So, in this case, we're talking about future. You won't allow this. But you can also 
say that you won't allow someone to do something. So you can say won't have subject and the verb in, with ing. So you won't allowed. So you let's say that you don't tolerate someone to do something. For example, we are talking about a store. We won't have the customers intimidating our staff. So I'm talking about a subject. You are talking about the customers. You won't tolerate that the customers intimidate your staff. So I use won't have the subject that is the customers and the ing form. Here I forgot to write won't. So in this case is the same grammar as this. But here you won't allow the something to happen and here you won't allow someone to do something. Okay? Next one. We can also use need, prefer, want and would like plus object plus past participle. But when you are going to use this? You are going to use this to talk about what, sorry, what we do or don't want to happen. Okay? So, what we do or what we don't want to happen. Please be careful. I don't want you hurt. So, I don't want that it happened to you. We need the house redecorated. So, you want that this happened. Okay? How do you feel? A little bit confusing? Let's do some exercise and then you are going to see that is not so hard. We just need to know how to use the verb. So, here I use have, get, the object and my verb in the third column. This is important to remember. When I have my verb in the third column, I complete with have and get. Okay? When I'm going to talk about something in the future, I cannot say won't get. It's only possible to say won't have. Okay? And when I'm talking about something that I hope that happened, or I don't want that happened, you can use need, prefer, won't, would like, object, and the past participle. Okay? If you need, you can pause the video and copy these tips that I write here for you. I'm going to start our exercise one. Okay? Check here, guys. In our exercise one, I have, I had to, my person taken out, I have my verb in the condition, uh, past participle form. When I have my verb in the past participle form, I'm talking about something um, that also happened with me, that somebody or something was done for me. So, I had to have my person or get my person taken to have or to get. 
ok? My mom is always saying I simply won't. When I use won't, it's obligatory to use have. I cannot say won't get, won't have my house used as a hotel. You cannot use get in this situation. Remember that you are talking about something that you won't allow, won't tolerate. I don't think the teacher explained the grammar point very well. She seemed to the students all confused. So here I have my verb in the third column. I'm talking about what someone did to me. So I, I use my verb have, get, the object or the person. And how do you feel? So, in this case, I can complete with have or get. Next one. I didn't. So, I'm talking about something that I want that happened or I don't want. I didn't the room painted this color. I can complete I didn't want the room painted this color. So I use the feeling verb want, need, would like the object and the verb in the third column. Yes? Participle form. Dad, the fence painted, and he promised to give me some, some pocket money if I do it. My dad want this. When I'm talking about something that someone want, I use my verb. The, the, the verb need, prefer, want, would like. The object and the verb in the participle form. So, in this case, you can complete my dad would like, my dad needs, my dad wants, as you prefer. Okay? I'm going to write wants, but it could be needs and could be would like. Uh, you would like, they say, by 6 p.m. I will eat done by then, I will have it done by then. Okay. Next one. I my car cleaned by two o'clock. I, you are talking about something that you want. I need, I want, I would like my car cleaned by 2 o'clock. Okay? Now, let's do our exercise 3. In our exercise 3, you need to choose one object. And remember that our verb must be in the participle form. I use have or get, my object and the verb in the past participle form. Because I'm talking about something that someone does for me. Okay? The president has his by a very talented group of writer. The president has his contract, passport, photo, speech, tattoo, or planning application. The president has his speeches. Confiscate, refuse, take, remove, translate, or write. The president has his speeches written by a very talented group of writers. Have, object, and the verb in the third column. We had our, by a local consuls, so we're talking about planning application. A 
application. Sorry, double P. I'm going to use the planning application. So if we're talking about visa, these kind of things, they can say yes or they can refuse. Great, by local council. The verb have the object and the verb in the third column. She had her at immigration. She had her. What when you enter in a country, what do you need to show? Your passport. Yes. And what they can do with your passport, they can confiscate it. I'm getting the from my ankle, but I'm keeping the one on my shoulder. I'm getting the... And she's going to keep in the shoulder, so we're going... Uh, we're talking about tattoo. I'm getting the tattoo... removed from my ankle, but I'm keeping the one on my shoulder. I will have the into German for you. I will have the contract, great. What is possible to do if a contract? Translated, yes. Translated into German for you. Next one, I absolutely hate having my, the last two words, my photo. And the verb take is going to be taken. All right, guys, remember, if you need more details, you can study the grammar on page 116. Okay, they have more information, more details for you. That's it for today. Thanks for the class. Bye-bye.